in loving memory. She is keeping their mission alive. A local veteran and mother, now a recent widow. Her soldier husband lost his life to the wounds he suffered in Iraq years after coming home. But now she's keeping his memory alive and giving other veterans a reason to live. They're images we all saw as Hurricane Irma approached last fall. Images that went viral of 12-year-old Nate Helmuth Jr. when he insisted on lowering the stars and stripes at his school, Coppergate Elementary. Did you guys think that Daddy would think about this and that you're still doing it? But now the very man who taught Nate Jr. to respect the flag is gone. His sister, Kinley, helps him keep the flag at their family's Middleburg home in good shape. They both know it's important to keep this tradition alive while thinking of their daddy, the hero they miss. I knew which house was yours immediately, the flagpole. Right. Something that was very important to uh, my husband and something, you know, my, my children and he would go out, they put the flag up every morning, take it down every night. Um. Crystal and Nate Helmuth were a powerhouse military couple who lived and breathed life in the Army. They met in the military and dreamed of changing the world. We were going to both be career soldiers. We were, we, we were crazy. <laughs> so this was the day that he deployed. It was September of 2006. Looking back, like I thought that was the hardest day of my life. Um, I really did. And I went home and I just cried and cried and cried. And I was like, I was terrified that he wasn't going to come back. Um, he did, sort of, like, just different. This military couple's mission was interrupted. An explosion changed everything. He was um, hit with IEDs in Iraq. Nate suffered traumatic brain injury, traumatic stress. He inhaled chlorine, giving him COPD. He couldn't breathe. This young military father came home. But the battle went on, a fight to heal from the physical wounds of war and the emotional toll. His dream dashed to be a Black Hawk mechanic. The doctors were saying, well, you know, you'll never, you'll never do anything normally again. Like, this is, this is it for you. This is your mental capacity. This is, you know, you'll probably never work. You'll never go to school. But you served honorably. Now, you know, relax kind of thing. But neither of them could relax. They moved to Northeast Florida so Nate could go to school to start a new chapter. He wound up working for Merrill Lynch. And they immersed themselves in a new community where they could raise their children and serve others. Uh, what he doesn't know is he's receiving a key, too, for his own house. In 2011, they were surprised with a new home awarded to them at TPC by Military Warriors Support Foundation. We've always been very, very open about everything, the challenges, and just in hopes that it would help somebody else. And they found themselves helping arm other veterans with advice and keeping their mission alive with a service platoon. Crystal and Nate worked to help lead other veterans to find a bigger purpose. Talking about it helped me. And then when I realized that it helped other people, um, that was what really encouraged me to continue talking and sharing his story. But his story took a wrong turn. On January 6th of this year, Nate suddenly dropped to the floor in their Middlebrook home and died from his war wounds years later. Most people would dream of, of the kind of love that I had, and I feel blessed that even though it was cut short, I had that much time with him. Hey! Weeks after his passing, Nate's friends and fellow veterans kept on their march with this rock walk in the dark. <laughs> oh, we have a cheering section. A regular gathering to raise awareness of a cause both Crystal and Nate shared their passion for, suicide among veterans. We know we come here that we're surrounded by brothers and sisters who get it and understand what we're going through without ever having to say it. But I know what he would want me to do. Um, and this is a cause that was really close to his heart as well as mine. So we're just going to keep, keep going and um, just keep doing the things that I know he would be doing if he were here. Just keep going on. Crystal and Nate were married 12 years. She says she's struggling now with where she needs to be, but she's focusing on her work with Hero Missions. She's able to make a difference in the lives of children of veterans, providing services to help the full family more easily reintegrate into society after deployment. There are so many children, she says, dealing with the effects of war. Crystal says service continues to keep her grounded. What a message for all of us, Tom. 
She is a hero, Mary, in so many ways, not no. just the fact that she served our country, but that she is a war widow, the family member of a soldier, right. and now what she's doing to help others. I mean, it's just extraordinary what Crystal's done. Truly extraordinary. Yes. I, and the family is so involved, and their family is so far beyond just, you know, the three of them now, because it seems like all of the veterans in the area, I mean, everybody seems to know her, and she's just spreading this incredible power and, and, and positivity. I mean, it's just days after he passed that she went ahead and still moved on with some service work at Mayport Elementary mm -hmm. with their service platoon that she knew Nate would have wanted it this way. Everybody who knows her, including our viewers now, must feel very fortunate to know her. What an experience you had talking to her. Truly. I just Thank feel you. honored to have met her. Thank you, Mary, for that story. <laughs>